हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द जून 2019 नाइनटीन एग्जामिनेशन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फ्रॉम द पार्ट बी एंड पार्ट सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स आई होप यू अगेन इंजॉय दिस सेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वेरियस शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर्ग वर्किंग द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थापर इंस्टीट्यूट काइंडली फॉलो दिस लिंक फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस वीडियोज ऑन द एग्जामिनेशन सी एस एफ गेट आई आई टी जैम विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स let's start with this first video is there so this is you have to find the solution of this differential equation and then find the value of the y is equal to 3 so if you clearly look about that what is the differential equation of this kind it is clearly says that this is nothing but my cauchy euler equation this is the cauchy euler equation so once it is a cauchy euler equation what you can do you always substitute e x is e raised to power z and so on but i will tell you the shortcut a uh, trick where you can write directly the auxiliary equation if this is my cauchy euler equation plus b x y dash plus c y is equal to 0 then its auxiliary equation will be first of all this must be the one okay so like here this is the one if it is not then you can divide them then the auxiliary equation will be m m sorry uh, it's not be the m you can simply write directly as it will be my m square plus b minus 1 of m plus c is equal to 0 you can write it directly remember that the first option must be the one so if you look about this problem what is the a a sorry what is the b b is my 0 b is the coefficient of the x of y dash c is nothing but my minus 2 so if you write here what is that m square plus 1 0 it's minus m minus of 2 is 0 so clearly says that the roots are my 2 and minus One. So therefore, the solution will be e raised to power 2z plus c2 e raised to power minus 1z. Or you can say c1 x square plus c2 divided by x because x is my e raised to power z. Now it is given that y of 1 is my 1. What is the meaning of that? It means c1 plus c2 is my 1. What is the y of 2 is my 1? It means it will be my 4 c1 plus C two upon two is my one. So, or you can write as eight C one plus C two is nothing but my two. Now, from these two equations, you can easily find the value of C one and C two. You can subtract them; it will get seven C one is nothing but my one. C one is one by seven. When you substitute C one here, you will get C two as my six by seven. Therefore, what is the y? Y is nothing but my x square divided by seven plus 6 by 7 of c2 sorry 7 by 6 yes 6 by 7 of c2 now c by 7 of x is not by c2 c2 we already substitute here now where you find the value of the x you want to find the value of the y3 so it's a 9 by 7 plus 2 by 7 so it will be my 11 upon 7 is the right answer Look about the another one is there. So you, this, what is that? Whenever you, this is the problem, you have to always look about the. It's a term Lewis problem are there. But that's there is nothing about that. That's very simple about this. What is given to you? You have this problem. Fine. So now what is the solution of this problem? That is nothing but the c1 cos lambda x plus c2 sine of here. Now what is the meaning of the y0 is y pi. You clearly say that when it's a zero, so this part will be zero. When pi again, its its part will be zero. So you can say it's is it is nothing but cos zero is one. It is c one cos of lambda pi. What is the meaning of that? For what value of this lambda so that it becomes we will get the non-trivial solution. So and similarly for a second case, y dash of zero is nothing but y dash of pi. Now once you take a y dash, now it's become a sine. Sin zero is zero. Sin of pi is zero, so we will start from here. So it will be c two cos zero is one is c two and cos of this. Now clearly says that if you consider lambda of this, either this value as a one, either as a minus one. Start from these options are there. So either c one of this will be zero. Either c one is zero or cos of lambda pi is one. when it will be there it means lambda pi is nothing but my 2 and pi or that is lambda is my nothing but my here or c1 is 0 if you look about this option it means because lambda is a positive value so lambda is can never be 0 so either c2 will be 0 or 
और cos of lambda pi is zero. Again, if c2 is zero, then lambda pi is nothing but my 2n pi. That is here my this value. But since we need a non-trivial solution, so either the c1 or c2, any one of them is a non-zero. So clearly says that lambda is my 2n is the, because it's a part b. So only the one right answer is there. So the answer 2 is the correct answer. Look about the another one is there. So what is given to you? There is a one differential equation of this, which is zero. Here x lies between here. Y. The solution of this is my y one. What is the solution of the y two? Is the solution of y two is formed by using here. This is and the initial conditions are there. Y zero and y dash of zero is zero. Now it's a very simple. You have to find whether y one or y two is finite or infinite. Now since it has any value which be between zero and one, so I can consider any of the value. So since it is here, so I simply take x is my one. So what will happen if this is there? So that the result will be true. So what is that? This is nothing but my c one cos x plus c two sin x. Now is there any boundary condition implies on the y? For the y one, there is no condition implies on that. But here, what is the c one and c two? They are from the real lines, and you can see it is uh, always the infinite set. So it consists of the infinitely many values. Therefore, y one the solution corresponding to this has infinitely many values are there. And since we are talking about the zero, it has many infinitely zero. Why? Because cos of x has infinitely many zeros. Sin of x has infinitely many zeros. Like x is zero, x is pi, and then so on. So the first answer is y one has infinitely many zeros. Correct. This option is cancelled. Now look about this one. How you can solve that? The auxiliary equation will be. You can clearly say that it is m square plus one is zero. So my solution is c one cos x plus c two sin x. How you find this particular integral? So we we can write this value as one by d square of x square plus two. We can write this value as of this. Now since it is a polynomial of degree two, I can expand up to the degree two only. So what is that? So this is my p i. What is that? This is x square plus two minus two times derivative will be two. So that is my x square. So my complete solution will be c one cos x plus c two sin x plus of x square. This is my complete solution. Now we apply the boundary conditions. What is that? Y zero is zero. So y zero. This is zero. This is one. So this implies c one is zero corresponding to here. What is the y dash zero? Y dash zero. It will be the two x again. It will be zero. This will be zero. So it will be the c2 is again zero. So once the c1 and c2 zero, so the y has x square. So how many zeros are there? There are only two zeros. That is my zero and zero. So that's a finitely many zeros. So one and four are the right answer of this problem. Look about the another one. Again, this is a part C. So it consists of more than one answers. So they are talking about the wrong scheme. Firstly, so what is given to you? They have given about this point. So we can define the Ronskian about here. How you define that? This is phi one, phi two, phi one dash, and phi two dash. Now it is given that at the point zero. What is that? This is phi dash zero. What is the value of the phi dash zero? Is one. What is the value of the phi two dash? Phi two zero is my zero. Phi one dash zero is zero. This is my one. What is that determinant? Is one. So the Ronskian is one. So this option is correct. This is at the point zero, okay? Okay, uh, it is at the point zero, but we need to find the Ronskian at all these points. Look about this. Plus a y dash plus b y is zero. You all knows that how you find the Ronskian is. This is integration of a, the coefficient of this by one. Okay, so in this example, in this case, what is the Ronskian about that? Ronskian is c e raised to power. What is the coefficient of the y dash? Is a zero of this. What is that? This is C. It means Ronskian of this is my C. C is nothing but my constant. So it means this is constant for all x. But here this is not constant for all x. It means this value is my cancel. Look what the other two options are there. What is that? Other two options. They are talking about uh, phi one dash and phi two dash, where the differential equation has a non-trivial periodic function with period t. So phi one and phi two are the solutions of the given solution. Phi one has the period t. It means this is the meaning of this. 
phi 2 has the period t that is my here now you need the value of phi 1 t when the phi 1 t is there so you can take at x is 0 what will happen is x is 0 it means phi 1 of x sorry phi 1 of t is nothing but my phi 1 of 0 what is the phi 1 of 0 is my 1 so this value is 1 what is the phi dash now you need the phi dash what is the derivative of this is nothing but my here now again at the x is 0 what is that this is nothing but my phi dash 2 dash what is the value of the phi dash of 2 this is nothing but my 1 now you can see phi dash t plus phi 2 dash t what is the value of this this is the 1 plus 1 is 2 so this is the right answer this is the wrong answer so the correct answers are my 1 and 3 so that's a simple task about this differential equation so that's all about this differential questions are there in this june 2019 examinations we will see another next videos till then you can simply follow the playlist csr net channel name dr harish gar where you can find the various videos related to the probability calculus various cal complex analysis as well as the differential equation of the csr net 20 real analysis as well as the differential equations linear algebra of the year 2019 all you can find my channel name dr harish gar playlist name is csr net gate iit gem i hope you can simply share this lecture with your friends comments and share them best of luck students happy learning